Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing my wallet, my sinking funds, my saving challenges, and doing a bill swap at the end of the video. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe and join the family, and let's get started. But first, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Teddy Blake. They offer beautiful handmade, genuine leather bags, and they have an upcoming Memorial Day sale, ranging anywhere from 40 to 70% off their handmade bags. So go ahead and take advantage of that, guys, and let's check out the bag that I chose. So I chose the 14-inch Kim Stampata leather handbag in the color blue jeans. I think this bag is beautiful. I'm gonna open it up for you all. So you can see the inside, it comes with a strap. And I am very excited to use this bag throughout the summer for my summer activities. And yeah guys, check out their Memorial Day sale. And now back to the video. All right y'all, so we are in the last full week of the month. Um, still have about half a week left in this month, but let's see. Um, I didn't have any bills due this week. This, my taxes bill, I had already paid it a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks in advance. And then this um, is a business bill that I may be getting rid of. I don't know, um, but we'll see. But it's due technically like next week. So I had three no spend days and I have decided since I have been having quite a bit of no spend days, I'm going to keep track of it in the notes section over here. There are some other things that coming up in the future months I'm gonna keep track of, but definitely that is going in the notes section. Um, I am going to a birthday lunch on actually Monday instead of Sunday. It got rescheduled for my mom because her birthday is the 31st. So you all are gonna see me budget for that this week as well as her birthday gift. Um, so this is what June is looking like. I'm so ready to get into the month of June, officially summertime. But let's go ahead and look and see what's left over in the wallet. All right, y'all. So I only have $5 left in eating out. The rest of the wallet is completely gone. So this is not enough money to stuff my saving challenge for this week. So this money is just going to go into the bank envelope. And just a reminder, um, my vellum sale did start today. So I have all of my vellum products on sale for 25% off on my website and then 20% off on Etsy. So that's the glossy vellum as well as the matte vellum in sizes A6 and A7 as well as the glossy vellum dashboard. Um, I tried to see if I could like turn the welcome 15 code off just for these products since they're already on sale and there was no, no way for me to do that. So technically it's kind of like a double sale going on because these are on sale and you can still use the welcome 15 code, which I'm totally fine with. And I went ahead and left it the same on Etsy as well. I have a 10% discount code for Etsy and that's still on as well. So that if you prefer to purchase from Etsy, the double sale is going on on both sides. So let's go ahead and look at my savings tracker. So I had a self care day yesterday, um, which I talked a little bit about on my Instagram story. If you guys follow me over there. I just mentioned it briefly and so I ended up pulling four dollars out of the bank envelope to complete a tip because um, I thought I would have enough cash from the wallet and I didn't so I pulled out four dollars um, from the bank envelope so withdrawal was four so that would have left us with two like we have here and then, oops, today I'm gonna add this five. So, and this should pretty much close me out for the rest of the month because next Friday starts June's budget. So we now have $7 that we saved in cash for this month. Um, I'm gonna leave the last line blank just in case, but this is where what we're left with this month so this money goes into my um bank envelope and then i'm going to deposit it at the end of the month before the next month begins i'm gonna deposit it um just as a little extra savings so for my 
spending category, we spent everything. So I have $21 remaining for the month. Um, for gas, I spent everything. So I have 140 minus 45, 95 left for the month, which is really good considering that we just have a few days left in this month. Uh, groceries, I was a dollar over. So 71, 145 minus 71 is 74. Okay, so for home, we spent the whole 15 and we had 33 left last week. So 33 minus 15 is 18, 18 left. And I probably will be using Oh, I only budgeted. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> eating out, I spent 35. And I had 69. So 69 minus 35 equals 34. Um, and then nothing in beauty. And that's zeroed out for the month and nothing in medicine, which is also zeroed out for the month. So for spending this week, we're doing 10. For gas, we're doing 45. For groceries, we are doing 70. Home is getting 15. Eating out is getting 29. So technically, <laughs> Y'all, I thought that I was going to spend the whole, um, what was it, 40 for eating out, which would have left me with exactly $29. So that's why I budgeted $29 for this last week, but I ended up saving $5. So I have a little bit more than that. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Um, I don't even think I'm going to spend that whole 29 and this 29 is for, um, us going out to lunch for my mom's birthday and I know where we're going and it shouldn't even cost me that much and then I'm gonna allocate $50 for her birthday gift this week okay y'all so spending is going to get the 10 here we go trying this again y'all know I like to fold the money just straight in half but I think it looks so cool like you can kind of see it um, throughout the whole envelope instead of just half of it gas is giving 45 so 20 40 and 5 so yeah how is may going for y'all how is the budget like i said this month has been really good for me as far as i've just been sitting down so um i'm not as tired as i was last month and I should be able to save quite a bit of money this month from just working and staying home. So I hope that May has been going well for y'all. Let me know in the comments. Home is getting 15. And let me see, what do I need for home? I do need some more um, detergent to wash clothes and I need some more cleaning products. Well, not all my cleaning products, just some of them. And eating out is getting 29. So I could have just made it 30, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't realize that I wasn't going to spend everything from my eating out um, budget. So it's fine. If anything, I could pay with my card and then just put this money back in the bank. So 25, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, cause I bought a new planner, a new, like little undated work planner from Amazon. I took it out of my miscellaneous envelope in my sinking, my miscellaneous sinking fund envelope. I took it out of there and I just used my card and then put the money back. Medicine is not getting anything. Beauty is not getting anything. Miscellaneous. We are going to put the 50 for mom's birthday gift. Um, and put that in there we went through bank i'm gonna put my coins in the coin box i want to say probably i have not saved as many coins this year y'all as i usually do like my coin jar is barely halfway full so 
but I'm still gonna go ahead and take it to the bank and and trade it in for cash and see how much I saved I'll probably put it on Instagram and then I just have one receipt this week and then these are my cards so I'm gonna grab my saving challenge binder so we are January February March April and May so today we are stuffing the 14 and the 5 to complete the May challenge that is $19 so I'm gonna go 10 15 16 17 18 19 and then we are on to June I can't believe it halfway through the year it's going by so fast Oh, I forgot to do my little check marks. Okay, let's see. So, the 14 and the 5. May is done, y'all. Can you believe it? Uh, I'm so proud of myself because y'all I don't always stay consistent with saving challenges this year I've been the most consistent with it I think because it's in this format because before I was doing before I created these and started using these I was just doing like um, like the tracker you know black black and white tracker that you could stuff in your envelopes and I was just not as consistent with it but I think this like the check marks um, you know crossing off the bubbles I think it just is more I don't know it's almost like an incentive almost and it's just kind of like you have that drive to where you want to see all these bubbles checked off so I think that doing challenges like this is definitely better for me I know several of you guys have purchased these from me I would love to know how it's working out for you um, any suggestions for next year's saving challenges let me know down below but i know a lot of y'all have gotten these and i would just love to know how it's working for you how do you feel are you able to stay consistent with it like yeah y'all let me know okay so we are now in the sinking funds this is my high priorities binder um and i know guys that i stuffed this binder well, both my binders i stuffed them very low um i had someone ask me in the last video like well what's the point of putting a dollar in birthday i'm like girl i know <laughs> so what happened with this envelope and if you kind of have followed along throughout the year you probably already know so i'm sorry if it's repetitive but um i did some big things the last two years of my birthday right so for my 30th birthday we went out of town my my friend me my friend and my sister and I am the kind of person that if I'm gonna ask people to come out of town or celebrate my birthday, I don't want it to be a financial burden on them. Um, so for that birthday, I paid for our hotel. I paid for um, like the main event that I wanted to do out there. I bought all of our tickets because you know that made me feel good. And then I feel like it makes them feel good that you know one of my friends drove down from Dallas so um, where we went it was like a seven hour drive for her and she drove down so you know I just I spent money that year okay 21 two, three and four I spent money that year trying to not only wanting my birthday to be enjoyable for me but be enjoyable for my friend and my sister as well without being a financial burden to them so i tried to take care of the bigger expenses last year for my birthday i went to hawaii okay no let's take it back 30th birthday threw my back out okay we had a whole i talked to y'all about this many videos ago threw my back out had to have back therapy for quite some time today is the 26 dang it yeah had to have back therapy for quite some time i mean we still laugh about it to this day <laughs> and we're coming up on two years ago y'all it 
it was yeah we did a lot 500 600 5 10 15. so that was 30th birthday so 31st birthday i went to hawaii now the trip was paid for but you know we spent money out there doing stuff and going places and then how about i came back with COVID? so I was like, this year, I don't want to do nothing for my birthday. I'm sitting down. I didn't throw my back out. I, you know, two years ago, I didn't came back with COVID last year. I'm not doing anything this year. So that was why I was like, I'm just going to put a dollar in here. However much I have by the time my birthday gets here, which is in August, whatever I have is what I have. Long story short, I actually am doing something for my birthday and I've pretty much already paid for it just out of my paychecks. So my birthday envelope is pretty frivolous at this point. But I just still put a dollar in there because I'm like, hey, if it count, if it adds up to twenty five, thirty dollars, it'll go towards something. Um, LASIK is getting two. Did I put that in there already? I don't think so. Uh, wait. So I had eleven hundred, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So um, yeah. My birthday envelope this year was never meant to get much of anything, but I just figured, you know, a little bit adds up over time. And so I was just like, hey, let's just put a dollar in there and maybe I'll go buy myself some lunch on my birthday. That was really what what my plans were. So that's why my birthday envelope is only getting a dollar. And since we're almost there and I've been doing that all year, I'm just going to continue with that. Um... So like I said, I am going out of town in my birthday month and I've already pretty much paid for everything. So that's where we are. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. Oh yeah. And then my friends and I, we went to Vegas in March and that was really expensive. We were there for like four days. I spent like a thousand dollars out there, y'all. It was crazy. So that's another, I was like, I'm not doing nothing for my birthday. But it's we're you know, I'm, I will be going somewhere and I'm excited. And I actually ended up having like flight credits because I had a New Orleans trip earlier this year that I missed out on because um, the shops are usually really busy in the new year. So I had a lot of work to do and I wasn't able to go to that trip, even though I had already paid for the ticket. So I used my flight credits. I'm using my fetch rewards for my hotel stay out there. And then the events that I'm going to, I'm just paying on them um, over like over time. So car maintenance has 100, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 131, 32, 33. But yeah, sinking funds are just not as much of a priority for me as they used to be um, because now I just try to prioritize um, putting money aside for bills uh, ahead of time, a month ahead, and um, you know, living on variable income, you just have to do some things differently. And so that's why you guys don't see me put a lot of money in these envelopes. I'm putting more money in the bank um, for like, like I said, for my bills, for my savings account, and things like that. Miscellaneous has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. However, I know how important sinking funds still are, even though they're not a priority. They're so important because you guys know I unexpected, unexpectedly moved in December and I had not saved for my move. I didn't save anything for it. I wasn't really expecting to move and I emptied out my sinking funds to pay for my moving expenses. And I had like over a thousand dollars in my binders. So they're still really important and i refuse to just you know completely ignore them because they have came in clutch for me many times over the past few years so i put something in them gifts has 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 and 5. Oh, and that was another thing for my, where I'm going for my birthday, my little birthday trip, I pulled money out of my sinking funds. 
Um, so yeah, so they definitely come in handy because again, that birthday envelope, I didn't, I wasn't really stuffing it because I wasn't planning on doing anything. So I have experienced sinking funds coming in handy for unplanned things. And there are certain funds I don't touch. This is one of them. I don't touch my guy baby's envelope. Um, she has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So my goddaughter is two years old. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I have a two year old godchild. She's two years old. And this is just an envelope that I started for her um, a few months ago just because I just, you know, felt like the, as she gets older, and you know i start doing stuff with her later on throughout the years i want to have a fun for it or i thought maybe i would save it for her for like when she graduates high school um and be able to give her some money so yeah church has one two three four five six seven eight so that is what um my goddaughter's envelope is four, so I, I don't touch her envelope. And medical is getting five. Four. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And so that is going to complete this binder. I'm gonna put these envelopes back and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my low priority um, sinking funds binder. Okay, y'all, so this is the low priority binder and So let's see, car tags is getting two. And that was 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. So yeah, guys, I did a little self-care day yesterday. I seen y'all comments last week about doing those self-care stickers and I have a fantastic idea for them. I can't wait to create them. So that will be coming soon. Um, but it was so nice. I just didn't work yesterday. I was like, I'm getting my work done ahead of time. I'm not working on anything. And I didn't. I'm so proud of myself. Did I work? No, I didn't. I did not. Well, I got my, my, um, I got my bag. And so I just kind of went over, okay, didn't know these were like this. I just kind of went over like, you know, what I was going to say in the video today, but I didn't do any work yesterday. I went and had a little solo lunch date at Olive Garden. It was really nice. Electronics has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, and then I went to see the Little Mermaid last night and I really liked it. I, I have to say, I really liked it. So it definitely brought back childhood memories. I was in that theater singing all the songs under the sea. Uh, what else did they sing? Part of your world, honey. I was, it was a concert. It was so fun. Um, but I think they did a really good job with the movie. This is emergency. It's getting five. And then I made sure that the sales went live on the website and Etsy. But other than that, I just kind of had the day to myself. So y'all make sure y'all do some self-care days. Like we got to, I have a whole revelation about it. Okay. So emergency has 1,200, 5, 10, 15. Y'all make sure y'all do self-care days. My revelation about it is, you know the saying, like treat others the way you wanna be treated. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that's a scripture, it's not a saying. And I just, it really hit me like, 
we can't love other people the way that we're supposed to if we don't love ourselves. We can't treat other people the way we want to be treated if we don't know how to treat ourselves, you know? So, yeah, that's my little revelation. So y'all go on that solo date. Take that solo trip. Take the day off and have just a you day. Giveaways has 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 39. So we have finally made it to 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you, especially all of my OGs that have been with me since like 2020, 2021. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. Um, I'm definitely going to be working on a giveaway. Um, we are almost at 20,100 subscribers, so that's exciting. But yeah, I just really appreciate you guys and you guys motivate me to keep going. You know, a lot of you tell me how I motivate you, but you know, y'all really motivate me as well. So Christmas has 20, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 51, 2. So 52 is in a Christmas. I think I'm going to be making a new envelope. Um, I don't know what I want to call it, but I just kind of realized that around this time of year, I spend a lot of money. Um, functions is getting two in the months of April, May, not so much June, but definitely April and May. I spend a lot of money. Functions has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, 22, 23. And that is because in the month of April, I have my dad's birthday, my goddaughter's birthday, my big cousin, who's more so like a big brother, his birthday, my best friend's birthday, all in the month of April. May, I have Mother's Day, my mom's birthday. Y'all, it's a lot of money that I, I <laughs> it's a lot. And I was just like, I really think I need to make an envelope and probably title title it April and May <laughs> because I spend so much money. I'm like, listen, I can't take no more birthdays in the month of April. I need nobody else to be born in that month. And then my niece, her birthday is going to be in March, but she's the only March birthday that I have. So we're good. But yeah, it's a lot. So we need to make a plan for that. Car tires has 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we are done with the sinking funds. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the wallet and then we're gonna come back so we can do the bill swap. Okay. So so let's see birthday is not going to get anything i think it's the only envelope that's not retirement is going to get 10 so i will just take these two fives put it to the side and add a 10. My LASIK envelope is going to be getting a five. So I really need to get rid of this bill. I, I hate these big $1,000 bills. One, two, three, four, and five. They're like, they're so much bigger than the regular dollar. I just don't like them. My outings envelope is getting a 20 and a 10. So 10, 15, 20, and then 10. And I never mix the money, like whatever money I take out of the envelope and whatever money I'm exchanging, I never mix it because I tried, I think, early on to do it that way and my brain just can't handle it. 
Um, car maintenance is also getting 20. So 10, 15, 20. And a 10, 5, 10. Miscellaneous is getting 10. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ooh, let's take this one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, gifts is getting a 20 and a five. Oh, that's why I was, I forgot to mention guys, my, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, my interest payments with Ally are almost to $30 a month. So if you guys are not signed up with some type of online bank, I highly recommend it. The more money you save, the higher your interest payments are. And it's literally like your money making money. Like, think about it your bank account getting 20 30 40 50 dollars a month just in interest it's another reason why i'm putting more money in the bank than in my binders because it's it's making money and the more money you have in there the more interest you make um what did i say gifts <laughs> oh one two three four five i forgot to say that so i wanted to make sure i mentioned that to you guys it's super easy to sign up. Like I said, I use Ally. It's super easy to sign up with them. Um, yeah. My goddaughter's getting 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I do still bank with two other banks other than my online bank. Um, because, you know, it's easy to assess them, ATMs and all that good stuff. But I definitely have that online bank. Church is getting a five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. For eight dollars. And medical is getting a 50 and a 10. 20, 40, 45, 50, and 10. So next we'll move on to the low priority binder. A lot smaller. Okay, car tags is getting 100. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Electronics is getting a 20, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Emergency is getting a 10. So I'm going to take these two fives. Giveaways is getting a five. Um, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's go one, two, three, four, and five. Christmas is going to get 50. So 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Um, functions is getting a 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20.
and car tires is getting a five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest of the money is gonna go to my um, saving challenge envelope because because I want to make sure that I'm condensing that one as well so that those envelopes don't stretch out too much. Okay, so let's see here. Saving challenge is going to get a 100, a 50, and a 10. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is where we are um, in our saving challenge. And that is going to conclude this video, guys. Don't forget to check out Teddy Blake for their memorial sale. Don't forget to check out the vellum sale. Um, on my website and again let me let me know how your budget's going for you if you have these saving challenge cards let me know how it's working out or any suggestions that you have and I will see you guys in my next video bye